Hello everybody, this is Dream of Back for round four of the Spooky Showdown. Ooh, first three rounds have done. On to round four, and our main event of this evening will be Soro Faganax, 100% so far, taking on Lanzusaurus, coming in off the back of two straight victories. But we have four matches to go through first, starting off with Eoraptor versus Black T-Rex. T-Rex taking on the Purple Predator Sejuangosaurus, Gastonia vs. Irritator, Diceratops and Eocarcaria. And without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup. Okie dokie, in the red corner, we have got the Shapeshifter Mister, the dinosaur that brought about all the other dinosaurs, it's Eoraptor! And he's a steg this time. Well, funny, isn't it, that pretty much most other dinosaurs that we know of, Eoraptor started it all. In the blue corner, he's big, he's bad, he's a bully, he's Black T-Rex. Black T-Rex coming off the back of a defeat in the third round. We'll be looking to get back to winning ways here. Not been a smooth start from the tournament favourite, but they will be heavy favourites in this contest with his overwhelming power. I do feel like it will stomp the Eoraptor here. But if the Eoraptor can get some sand traps going, we might see a different outcome. We saw Eoraptor get their first win of the tournament in round three. Oh, here comes the sand trap. That's just, that's exactly what Eoraptor wants. Whittling away at this Black T-Rex's health. Yes, Eoraptor again. A shock victory, to be honest. A surprising victory against the Irritator in round three. Not what I expected. But it had a good matchup against Irritator because it had all super moves. And Eoraptor got the first hit. Ooh, but Black T-Rex responds with a Kamikaze tackle. Badoosh! Damage, that's not even a crit. One hit will do it from the big bad T Rex. And yet, there it is. This fire cannon will do the job, and Black T Rex bounces back with victory over Eoraptor. And Eoraptor yet again licking his wounds. Yeah, that was tough for Eoraptor there. Black T Rex, as I said, started in, coming in as a strong favourite. Tough match to take, tough match there for Eoraptor, but good job for the Black T Rex. Right, on to our next matchup. In the red corner, we have got a big fiery apex. We've got a T Rex. T Rex coming in off the back of a disappointing loss to Gastonia in the third round. I think it was Gastonia. Yes, it was. We'll be looking to bounce back here. In the blue corner, We've got everyone's favourite little wind dinosaur. It's the purple predator. It's Sejuangosaurus. Sejuangosaurus, after that shock victory over Eocarcaria in round one, hasn't really happened for him. Got well comfortably beaten by Sorofaganax in the previous round. And got comfortably defeated by Lancosaurus. So, yeah, Sejuangosaurus will want to bounce back here, but it is a tall order against this T Rex. Both of these two. Oh, that's not good. Both of these two looking to get back to winning ways, but the T Rex getting a crit off the bat. And that is not a good start for Seji. JD killed it! Over in a flash! Wow, what a hit from the T-Rex! The Sejuangosaurus didn't know what hit him. Well, um, on, the, on to our third match. In the red corner, this dino can clear a room. He's Gastonia. Gastonia coming off, an, off the back of an impressive victory against the T-Rex. To get his first win in this tournament. Bum, 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 bum. In the blue corner, we got the dinosaur that makes you lose your head. He's Irritator. 
Irritate they're coming off the back of a disappointing loss to the Eoraptor in round three. We'll be looking to bounce back here. Ooh, this is, a, this is a tough one to call. Tough one to call this. Could go either way. I'm still in shock after that bloody second match. The Seji getting one shot there by the T-Rex. Only on this channel do you see stuff like that. Perfect tournament moment. <laughs> Ooh, starting with some ties. And that's exactly what Gastonia wants. To get that sand trap going. And yes, the T-Rex I use is Hunter type. And um, I think because Hunter type activates when you have more health than your opponent. And T-Rex has more health with than Sejuangosaurus when they start. So I think that's why the Seji got one shot. But anyway, back to this match. And that's a good start from Gastonia there. Ooh, and it's getting better. Getting a crit on the board. Irritator in a bit of a pickle here. The earth barrier's coming in. A tie will do it for Gastonia in a pretty impressive display. Ooh, but Irritator gets a head on the board. It's a water sword. Could be important that to get some points on the board. I do believe you get more points the more hits you get. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, Irritate, they're coming back into it. Gastonia, not home and hose yet. There was a strong start by our gaseous lizard, but look at this! Can Irritate has come from behind the win? Ooh, is it a tie? And it is a tie! Neither one is revival type, and ladies and gentlemen, we have our first draw of the tournament. Okay, I got okay, I got a solution for this. I'm gonna minus two hundred off the Gastonia's point total. Because the game pro you know, the game thinks the Gastonia won, but it didn't, it was a tie. So that's how I do it in the tournament. If both dinosaurs would have died in the tie, then the game is a draw. So I'm gonna minus two hundred from Gastonia's point total and leave Irritators as it is. So it'd be 233 to 273, because Irritator did get off more hits in that map. I think that evens it out. But yeah, what an exciting contest that was. I said, I said it could go either way, and they went the way of a draw. Right, on to our fourth match of this session. Okie dokie, in the red corner, we have got this, we've got a dinosaur with a red temperament. He's Diceratops. Bum, bum, bum. Mixed bag for Diceratops so far in this tournament. Suffering defeat against Black T-Rex in the opening match, but did get a win on the board. In the blue corner, we got the dinosaur from Africa. The Dawn Shark, he's Eocarcaria. Now Eocarcaria finally got off the mark in the in the um, round three. Dun, 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 dun. A crucial victory. Hmm. Another interesting match here. Let's see who wins this contest. Ooh, Diceratops landing the first blow. A Thunder Bazooka incoming. Badoosh. Now that was a big hit. The tie, but ties will suit Diceratops. He is built for ties. And gets another hit on the board. This is a very good start. Eocarcaria, the same problems again. Just can't get going. Ooh, responds a much needed crit back from Eocarcaria. Getting their first hit on the board and a flare sword to boot. A big response that could be from Eocarcaria, and this will pretty much level things out. And it does. Oh, it's a tie. No plasma anchor though. This Diceratops is tie defense type, so consecutive ties will favor it. And that though will favor the Eocarc area. Well, a slow start, but they got it done in the end, and it's another win for Eocarc area. And Diceratops yet again licking his wounds. Now then. On to our main event of this video. The one we've all been waiting for. 
Sorofagonax going up against Lanzusaurus. In the red corner. This dino's a master. He's a little bit a master. It's Sorofagonax. Sorofagonax, the only 100% dino in this tournament. Looking to make it four out of four. But in the blue corner, we have got a dino that sucks the life out of its opponent. It's Lanzusaurus. Lanzusaurus on a good run as well. After that opening round loss to Irritator, it has won the last three. Well, it has won the last two. Sorry. <laughs> so both of these two are on winning streaks, but one of those streaks is coming to an end. Well, at least one of them is. Could end up in a tie. Ooh, Lanzusaurus gets the first hit. It's a power drain. Time to spam the buttons. Seconds. Not much damage dealt though, but a good start from Lanzusaurus. That's a tie. Neither of our guys have tie moves. But Lanzusaurus, I will add, is revival type. This one is a revival type one. So if it does die in a tie, it does get to come back once. That could be crucial. Ooh, but what's more crucial is the Lanzusaurus getting another hit on the board. And Sorofagonax in big trouble now. But they've been on the brink of defeat in their previous matches before, so it's nothing new to them. Oh, oh, here it comes. Here comes the comeback. <laughs> Okay, not too much damage. The dive will add a bit more. And a volcano burst as well. We've seen this combo many times before already in this tournament. And just like that, Sora Faganax leveling things up. Oh, don't do this to me now, random number generator. Come on. Damn it. <laughs> oh, no, there, five. Hey! Oh, the Sora Faganax! Has he won it again? Yes, he has, and Sorofagonax makes it four out of four. And yet another come from behind victory. <laughs> and that will wrap up this round of matches. So we shall calculate the points, have a look where everyone is in, currently in the table, and we will end the session. Well, we're about to enter the halfway mark of the uh, round robin with round five. And this is how we are looking going into that round. Sorofagonax 100% so far, sitting pretty on 12 points. Crucially, 6 points clear of, well, all of these guys who are currently on 6 points. But uh, T-Rex above the lot by virtue of the fact they have more battle points. We have Irritator sitting in 2nd place on 7 points. Almost 2,000 points. And then, as I, as I said earlier, we got T-Rex and Diceratops in the top 4 as well. Black T-Rex in 5th, Lanzusaurus in 6th, Eocarcaria starting to climb up the table now in 7th, Gastonia in 8th, and poor old Seji and Eoraptor down in the bottom 2 with 3 points. So yeah, it's not over yet for these guys, but a 9 point deficit between them and Sorofagonax does seem a long way back at this point. And yeah, that's going to end this session here, so I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for round 5, and until then... Ta-ta!